Good afternoon and welcome to introducing the Appliance Retail Bundle for Oracle NetSuite. I'd like to thank all of our uh, appliance industry peers for joining us on this call today. We've got a really fantastic agenda, so uh, let's dive right in. My name is Craig Cook and I will be your host today. I look forward to introducing you to our other panelists from BSP, Robert Ferraro, Account Executive for the Appliance Vertical, and Hussein Zaidi, our Chief Solution Architect. And from Plesser's Appliances, our special guest, Mark Howard, who will join us later for a candid conversation about his experiences with NetSuite. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to introduce Business Solution Partners and go over some housekeeping notes for today's session. This webinar is brought to you by Business Solution Partners. We're here today to provide an overview of NetSuite and introduce you to our proprietary appliance retail bundle. Our product is an enhancement to the core NetSuite experience, extending the functionality of NetSuite's holistic business management platform to solve for the needs of appliance retailers like you. Business Solution Partners has a 35 year history of providing high level financial and operational consulting and professional services to companies in the manufacturing, distribution and retail space. Throughout our long tenure as a NetSuite partner, our team's primary focus has been to empower companies to achieve more by customizing the platform to their unique needs. This includes the custom development of applications that enhance the core NetSuite platform to solve for niche vertical specific needs of a diverse set of industries. Business Solution Partners stands on our four pillars of services, professional services, including software selection and implementation, custom development, training, and support. Today's webinar is eligible for CPE credit, and we have several attendees who registered as CPAs to receive credit. To comply with the NASBA's rules for credit delivery, we're gonna have several polling questions interdispersed throughout today's presentation. If you're a CPA, please be sure to vote in these polls and watch attentively for the entire presentation to be eligible to receive your course certificate. Um, but if you're not a CPA, please feel free to take part in these polls anyway. I think they're gonna be pertinent to your uh, needs in the vertical. We have to perform an audit of polling and attendance data before we're able to deliver our CPE credit. So it may take about one to two weeks to receive your follow-up email uh, with the course certificate attached. And please note CPE credit is only available during our live webinar events. No credit is offered to viewers of our recordings. All right, by now I think we're all pretty familiar with Zoom, but here's a few reminders about our webinar platform. Today's audience is set to listen only mode, but we're ready to field any questions you might have about our presentation. Please locate the Q&A button. We request that all questions be asked through this module instead of the general chat. Uh, we'll also have some time at the end of today's session for an open Q&A. At that time, you can use the Q&A functionality, or if you can prefer, you can hit the raise hand button for a chance to chat with us live. If you do raise your hand, be prepared to have your microphone and camera turned on uh, and interact with us live. Finally, all of today's attendance, uh, attendees will receive a follow-up email within a few days that delivers a recorded copy of our broadcast, as well as a downloadable presentation deck. Let's take a look at today's agenda before we dive in. On behalf of my team, I'd like to welcome you to our webinar. Our goal today is to introduce you to the NetSuite ERP and discuss how Business Solution Partners is solving for the specific needs of the appliance retail industry. We're going to take a behind the scenes tour of our solution, focusing on the functionality that we have developed to address your day to day operational workflow, like warranty and rebate management, uh, integration with appliance buying groups and co ops, and managing things like e commerce. And then we're going to introduce you to Mark Howard, the president of Plesser's Appliance, for a candid conversation about his experience with NetSuite before opening the floor to your questions. So let's start the journey together with a little bit of context. Why did Business Solution Partners decide that the appliance retail industry needed a better path forward and invest in developing our vertical solutions? And another good question, why wasn't NetSuite, the world's number one cloud ERP for retail, enough of a solution on its own. Well, first and foremost, I think it's important to acknowledge that not all retail organizations are alike. It's a no brainer to understand that on the surface, selling apparel and selling washing machines are fundamentally different. But when you dig down past the surface, you realize these differences go way beyond the type of product that your company represents. It permeates process, procurement, supply chain, inventory management, marketing and sales, delivery, installation, Companies selling shirts and jeans will just never have to concern themselves with the operational complexities that you do. So even though NetSuite is the global retail in uh, global leader in retail business systems and provides a tremendous out of the box experience, it does not account for the small details that differentiate your retail organizations from those in other micro verticals. Next, let's quickly discuss the shifting consumer profile. The modern consumer is well informed of their options and preferences. They turn to the internet to research their needs long before setting foot in a showroom. 
And let's acknowledge also the growing segment of buyers that will never do that. Those that are content to make their purchases sight unseen at the click of a button. Compounding the fact that consumers are no longer relying on your expertise to guide their decision making is the fact that today's buyers are expecting white glove service, a seamless purchase, delivery, and installation experience. And when your customers are spending big bucks to outfit their high-end kitchens with premium products, their expectations are steep. Shifting consumer profiles are leading to a race to the bottom, the need to compete on price in a connected world. Without the ability to identify and activate the latest rebates and dealer incentives and roll these out to your showroom floor and e-commerce, it's too easy to lose a big sale to the competition. In our modern, fast-paced economy, the speed at which you can make decisions around inventory pricing and incentives equals the ability to turn over merchandise and increase your margins. And here's a little secret. If your organization is not providing the general public with easily accessible information about your products and services, like an e-commerce website that enables product comparison shopping and downloadable resources like spec sheets, then your competition will. So while the consumer is educating themselves and establishing their pricing, platform, and accessory preferences, it will be your competition who gets the name recognition and builds trust long before the sales process starts. So whether you're a stocking dealer or manage just-in-time inventory operations, there are significant complexities to the appliance retail supply chain. And look, right now, the industry is facing major inventory issues due to massive disruptions in the global supply chain. It's tremendously difficult to take advantage of major upticks in buying patterns when you don't have the inventory to fulfill orders. And complexity doesn't just exist at the supply level. Appliance products themselves are complex. Managing options like electric or gas, color options, styles, required accessories part and parts, optional accessories, and more. All of this can be really overwhelming if your business systems were not designed to handle all of the various considerations. Finally, the appliance retail industry is plagued by outdated technology that was not designed to meet the needs of the modern economy, let alone the modern consumer. Legacy computer systems and software are costing the industry millions of dollars, wasting time, resources, and energy, and preventing companies from taking advantage of a world of SaaS applications designed to make running your business easier. Modern business systems are connected. They integrate with other best-in-class software products that solve for everyday business challenges. The NetSuite ERP can connect to a world of other products like HubSpot for marketing, or Avalara for automated tax management, AP and AR solutions, and so much more. When you make the choice to modernize your core business systems, you're starting a journey of transformation across your whole organization that leads to increased productivity and efficiency. So today we're, we're kind of making a big ask, right? We're asking you to start the process of evaluating your business systems and consider the fact that your current software and strategies might be holding you back from achieving the growth and success that your hard work deserves. The first step in that process is to understand what the marketplace offers that your current business systems do not, and to recognize the bottlenecks that are preventing you from achieving your goals. With that in mind, I'd like to introduce you to NetSuite. At the core of our solution is Oracle NetSuite, the world's number one cloud ERP. NetSuite is used by thousands of manufacturers, distributors, and service companies, healthcare companies, software companies, and all other types of organizations worldwide. But the key to NetSuite's success across all of these diverse verticals is what's called suite success. With tens of thousands of successful implementations over the course of their 20-year history, NetSuite has developed a deep understanding of each industry vertical and the many challenges they face. Armed with this knowledge, they created the Suite Success Program, a, vertical, a verticalized implementation me methodology designed to provide companies with a rapid implementation aligned to their core business needs. Now, Business Solution Partners takes this one step further by focusing on micro-verticals. So while NetSuite has developed their suite success track for big R retailers, BSP has enhanced this rapid implementation methodology by solving for your unique needs. Our appliance retail bundle enhances suite success, not only with customized functionality for appliance retailers, but with BSP's own vertical specific implementation expertise. We call this implementation plus, and it's focused on four key areas. Number one, the continuous life cycle engagement. Our deep knowledge of the appliance retail industry ensures success through our consultative approach from the sales cycle through implementation and training, all the way through to ongoing support. We've nurtured clients just like you through the entire process, so we know what to expect and how to address your critical business needs at every step of the way. Number two, leading practices in appliance retail. 
With NetSuite and appliance retail specialists, business solution partners in your corner, you aren't just getting a software package. You'll benefit from the experience of NetSuite's thousands of retail customers and BSP's deep knowledge of your particular niche. We deliver complete solutions and best practices tested in real world situations that take your business to the next level. Number three, a phased implementation. BSP has built our implementation methodology around NetSuite's Suite Success Program for retail, enhancing it with that vertical specific acceleration for appliance retailers to solve more of your critical needs up front. Our implementation plus methodology is agile, phased, and iterative, ensuring fewer business interruptions and a more rapid time to go live. Finally, business intelligence. Suite Success and Implementation Plus combine to deliver hundreds of pre-built reports, role-based permission, and value-driven dashboards developed from years of real-world use by thousands of individuals and roles like those your business relies on. Finance, logistics, procurement, warehouse, sales, marketing, customer service, and leadership. And just to focus in on one of those four sweet success differentiators, this is the one that I find really exciting. Right out of the box, we're going to deliver a system that understands retail and your business and the reporting needs of companies like yours. There are over 300 business insights available right out of the box with Sweet Success Retail, and BSP has honed this further to provide some specific pre-configured reports and roles that your industry peers demand. So I've introduced you to NetSuite, Sweet Success, Implementation Plus, but one of the questions that I'm always asked is, what is the competitive difference between NetSuite and all of the other ERP systems out there? Well, NetSuite was the first solution fully, fully built in the cloud and not migrated over from a legacy on-premise solution. They were the trailblazers back 18 years ago, and they're still the trailblazers today. The sheer size of their install base yields a significant amount of real-world insights into how businesses are run on modern technology. They're a global organization servicing over 40,000 companies and subsidiaries with more than 7,000 employees worldwide. Now, being the best in the game also means that with a $1 billion revenue run rate, a lot of their income is being invested back into the product and into the community of NetSuite users globally. NetSuite is constantly on the cutting edge, releasing predictable, regularly scheduled bi-yearly updates, and is always listening to the customer to make iterative improvements based on how people actually leverage their software. All right, uh, I, we'd really like to expand upon the foundation that I just built by introducing our account executive for the appliance retail vertical, Mr. Robert Ferraro. Bob has been focusing his efforts on this vertical for almost three years, gaining tremendous insights into the day-to-day -day operations of appliance retailers just like you. He brings almost 30 years of business systems experience to the table, having spent his career aligning business owners with the technology they need to scale and succeed. Bob is the face of our appliance retail practice and is excited to engage with you to learn more about your business needs and support your growth. Bob, I'm gonna turn the webinar over to you so that you can dig a little deeper into our appliance retail bundle. Thank you so much, uh, Craig. I appreciate the handoff. And folks, uh, uh, glad to see uh, you attend. I see some familiar names uh, on the list, some people that I've uh, actually met face to face. So I'm gonna uh, go into a little bit more detail around some of the areas that, uh, that Craig touched upon about the solution that we bring to your industry and to expand upon some of the common challenges that we hear time and time again uh, as we uh, bring the solution uh, to organizations like yours. So again, uh, you know, some of the highlights, I'm not gonna go into uh, every one in detail, but you know, differentiating yourselves across some of the big box retail chains and uh, you know, and uh, maintaining an elite or premier status as, uh, as an appliance dealer always becomes challenging differentiating yourselves. You know, we know with the changing buying habits, especially coming uh, post COVID, that the uh, managing the, the buying experiences of the consumer is definitely changing, especially with millennials and new, you know, new types of uh, buyers coming to the industry. Um, so being able to extend that same type of uh, experience is a common challenge and, and uh, an area we see. As Greg mentioned, we see many, many legacy systems that are out in the industry that's been there for 20 years, built upon you know, 1990s, 2000s technology that are ingrained in the organizations 
but just really doesn't have the flexibility uh, to uh, to make uh, you know simple uh, changes to your operation as the as the business uh, needs. So we see these legacy systems out there in flexible you know um, uh, silos between different departments, you know one-off uh, solutions that don't integrate to each other. So we see this uh, often. It's when we go out into your organizations, it's very, very seldom that we even see IT executives within the organization. So the system has to be yeah, easy to use, easy to administer and you know, run on its own without a lot of intervention. Um, so that's an area that we see. We bring up the area around poor succession planning and what we've heard about this and what does this have to do with, with technology? Well, very, very, very often we hear time and time again, it's second, third, fourth generation of, uh, of management that's coming into the organization. And we're hearing that you know, the, the newer generations uh, are looking for quality of life and maybe not wanting to spend uh, Saturdays, Sundays, Mondays at the operation. So looking to automate uh, mundane business processes across the organization is where, you know, NetSuite can assist in these particular areas. Um, and we've helped in, uh, uh, automate those processes. And then finally, as I mentioned before, you know, the changing business habits. And it seems like nowadays, the preference is for, for the consumer to go to a web store or an e-commerce engine before they have to walk into a, a physical store. So extending that, that, uh, that same process and same experience to the consumer is what we strive for when we uh, bring NetSuite to our, our, uh, our or, uh, customers. This is what I what I call the NetSuite uh, the pinwheel, and it goes into a lot more detail, and it shows you the depth and the the breadth of uh, the NetSuite solution. It's an end-to-end -end solution, right from marketing and lead management to delivery and customer services. Um, you know, uh, if I go into some specific areas. You know that that uh, where we see benefit with NetSuite is being able to have a centralized CRM solution, central contact management, central activity, central calendaring. You know we hear time and time again that you know these processes are in the email, uh, maybe one-off systems that can't be shared, but being able to have a 360-degree view of your customers' touch points and their experiences with the organization over over years of history is a very, very valuable area that ties into your sales and marketing uh, solutions. Um, part of the solution that we've talked about and we, what we bring in, uh, with some of the enhancements, you know, relate to uh, customizations related to uh, uh, retail, uh, rebate management, warranty tracking, uh, optional and required items, um, streaming uh, integration with industry catalogs, you know, updating your item master on a real time, uh, on a real time uh, fashion. So those are the areas around inventory management. NetSuite has a complete inventory management and warehouse management solution. So you know, taking all of your procure to pay processes and, and automating them within NetSuite, you know, warehousing solutions related to scanning, barcoding, uh, um, updating the information in a real time fashion. So your sales team can easily answer questions related to where's my product, what's uh, open, what's closed, when can we expect delivery? All of this is now being automated through the NetSuite system. Moving along, uh, we touched upon the e-commerce experience, um, core financials, and then transportation management solutions. Just to show you some of the companies in your industry that are, uh, are, are utilizing NetSuite today. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with many of, many of these companies. Everybody knows everyone within the industry. Uh, so we wanted to share with you, you know, some of these companies that are, that are uh, 
taken advantage of the NetSuite solution and have been have, have adopted the, tech, the, the technology. All right. And a little bit about the uh, business solution partners. Uh, Craig touched upon it, but uh, it's a privately held company uh, over 25 years in business started by my boss and founder, David Smuha, who's a CPA by trade, ex Deloitte um, a consultant. So we have many, many years of experience working with NetSuite um, and other EVR, ERP solutions uh, prior to that. You know, and as uh, Craig mentioned, we also have uh, a full staff of NetSuite certified functional consultants and software engineers and, and technical consultants that are available to assist in the implementation of NetSuite for your operations. All right. So just to touch upon what Craig mentioned from the implementation plus, it's a four step process that goes around what we call the define where we take you know, detail, detailed information, detailed knowledge about important areas of the business because every retailer runs just slightly different. And then we go into a configuration and, and setup uh, phase and then you know, all leading to somewhat of an important uh, prototyping and testing phase. And when the, everybody is, is, is satisfied with the processes and the transactions within NetSuite, then we move into a deployment uh, scenario. A uh, part of the implementation is, uh, that's not touched upon here is data migration. It's very, very common that we're bringing customer history, vendor history, item history, sales history, financial history from your legacy ERP solutions. And that's also part of our uh, methodology and approach to, uh, to uh, implementing the solution. All right, and then the, the, the question comes up as to, you know, uh, how much time and, and effort is required and, and how long it takes to get the NetSuite up and going. You know, so here is somewhat of a snapshot of what we typically see. And, you know, from our experience, we can get this NetSuite system up and going in generally a six month time frame from the, the start of the deployment of the, the solution. Okay. What we see, see on the screen here is a tool that we use to do a further assessment and analysis of, of the business requirements of the, the customer. You know, it goes across the areas of the business from start to finish uh, in greater detail. And uh, a part of this exercise, we will prioritize some of the areas that are more or less important to your, your operations um, and what's important to your business. And essentially what we'll do, we'll go channel by channel, row by row, and go into a deep dive analysis to get an assessment as to where you are today and where is the derived outcome you would like to uh, recognize after the deployment of the NetSuite system. And we'll use this uh, tool somewhat as a, a measuring stick, you know, at the conclusion of the project to gauge if we've uh, reached the success and the satisfaction of, of the customer. Okay. And again, just to, to talk uh, and state to the fact that we have a totally holistic solution to your operations. You know, here again are some of the departmental requirements that we, we go across. And again, as we engage, we go into uh, further analysis on these particular areas and, and showcase the solution in more detail. All right, Bob, thank you so much. Um, as you can see, the Appliance Retail Bundle powered by NetSuite enables sort of whole business transformation, uh, modernizing and streamlining your processes uh, in every department. Um, so our solution starts at procurement, supporting your vendor relationships, and flows all the way to, to delivery and service after sale. Uh, the powerful tool set helps you manage inventory and orders, supports your marketing and sales teams, radically improves the customer support uh, service and support experience, and ties all of your business activities back to financials. It also provides your executive team with real-time transparency 
into the finances and operations of the business, enabling faster and better decision-making. So we're now gonna examine some of these areas in more detail and take a behind the scenes tour of our solution, focusing in on the specific functionality that Business Solution Partners has built to solve for your needs in the appliance retail industry. At this time, I'd like to introduce BSP's chief solution architect, Hussein Zaidi. Hussein is responsible for designing the tech stack that meets our clients' requirements. His job is to carefully listen to the needs of our clients and prospects, ask a ton of detailed questions, and then ultimately determine what software, customizations, integrations, and processes will help them achieve their business goals. In short, Hussein turns understanding into action. Hussein, I'm going to turn the webinar over to you so that you can take us behind the screens and show us some concrete examples of how the appliance retail bundle is truly a game changer. Thank you, Craig. Let me share my screen. So hi everyone, this is Hussein Zaidi, um, and I'm going to be walking you through uh, first overview of NetSuite and then some of the specialized uh, features that we have added for appliance industry. So right now I'm logged into NetSuite. I am logged in as a CFO. There's a lot of things that you see on the homepage here. We call this a dashboard. So every role gets its own dashboard. As a CFO, I'm able to see my reminders. Uh, down here, I have my executive financials, some of my you know, uh, reports that I would use day to day are up at the top. And then under executive financial, I have my numbers. I can drill down in any of these. This is all drillable. And then my KPIs, my revenue by period, my monthly sale trends, my business trends, customers by year to date sales, vendor balances, new customers versus existing customers. So all the information that you need to make an informed decision and operate your business as efficiently as possible is at your fingertips. Most of the managers uh, would spend you know, time on their dashboard early in the day and during the day, just because uh, you know they can get the business insights right from the dashboard and they don't have to drill into other reports. So that comes in very handy. Now, as I switch from CFO to let's say a sales manager, you would see how the dashboard changes. My reminders are more now concerned with the opportunities to close leads and prospects. CR, uh, there is CRM functionality that's built into NetSuite. So you have a full sales automation lifecycle that's available. So lead to opportunities to quotes, to orders and all the way down to cash. And then you also have case management. And this is uh, all out of the box as part of the unified system. So, you know, you have your sales, procurement, financial, inventory management, all baked into this platform. As a sales manager, you know, I'm looking at my sales rep by sales. My KPIs are different. My sales operation numbers, again, cater to what the sales manager needs to make their decisions and make their forecasts that's available. Everything is controlled by roles. So your access rights is driven by, by your roles. So uh, what information CFO has at his disposal, his or her disposal, might, it might not be available to a sales manager. And there are access rights that, uh, that define what sales manager can see and not see. So I have monthly sales trends. I have my comparative sales down here sales rep quote conversion rate, which quotes were conver converted to orders, my top five customers by sales and so on. Um, lastly, maybe I will take a look at purchasing manager and then go into some of the order processing flows so you guys can see the changes we have made for appliance industry. So as a purchasing or procurement manager, I'm more interested in purchase orders to approve items on the order that we are waiting to receive in, um, quantity on hand alert. So you can set up alerts within the system and they will show up as reminders on your dashboard. And you can, you can set that natively or you can have workflows 
that can you know trigger alerts and those alerts would make their way onto these reminders. There's also inbound uh, shipment support. So you can use that if you are getting advanced shipment, no shipment notices from your vendors and you can then receive against them as well. We have KPIs for the purchasing. So KPIs related to inventory sales, shipping charges, open POs, um, late purchase order lines and so on. I have my inventory value, my day's inventory has been on hand, inventory trends, my late POs that have not been received, available to sell. You have list views that you can include images in. So it's very important when you have items in different colors and, and features and you know having that visual cue helps uh, both maintain inventory as well as uh, to sell them to the end client. So let me uh, go into now some of the specifics of the appliance industry. I am going to uh, switch on my role. One thing that I would like to also mention here as far as navigation goes is the search window. So this is a global search. It functions like a Google search within NetSuite. So for example, if I am looking for a washer, it, it's gonna, I can start typing a keyword and it's gonna go find that for me, right? Or if I have a model number, I can type the model number and it'll find that anything related to that model uh, would come up. Um, so any combination of that is helpful. So I have a, a washer and a companion dryer. If I type in WM3, both of them shows up. Same thing is true for any other uh, entity within the system. So I'm looking for, let's say Aaron Abbott and I just type a last name and it shows me not just the customer but the opportunity related to it as well, right? So it comes in very handy. Let's talk about the inventory items we have set up here. So I have an LG washer. Now this washer, all the information was brought in through our integration to the buying group, in this case, retail deck. We also have integrations available to other buying groups, right? like brand source and other ones throughout the country. So I have my uh, spec sheet here, just the information about uh, this washer. Now down here, I'm gonna come back to these details, but let me talk about this information. So I have my brand information, my category, my subcategory, family or color. And then there are rebates that are defined for the system. I have, these are instant rebates by the way. Then I have competitive information that's coming in from the buying group. So big box retailer prices for this. Uh, item if somebody is doing a price matching you know you you know right up right up front what the other retailers are selling this for i have my technical data my map pricing start end date for map my uh, deck pricing my depth color code height width all, all the information that's available from the buying group and then also the rebates the manufacturer rebates that we bring in as well as part of that integration. Okay. In addition to this, we also have added extended warranty. So right now I have uh, extended warranty that I believe two options, two years and five years as you can set up here. And then mark this off to say this item qualifies for the extended warranty. We also can define required items. And in this case, I have a hose for this washer that's required. And if I go under optional items, I have a recycling washer fee and a companion dryer that's set up as an optional item. And I'll show you how that comes into play. This optional item, if I, I show up here, this is my dryer, pretty, pretty much the same information that's available on this spec sheets and then other details that are brought in to our buying group integration. Coming back to the item before I get into the order entry, let me just quickly touch base on the depth of information that's available to you through NetSuite. So 
we have on the purchasing side, we have the costing method, the cost category, your average cost, purchase price, last purchase price. Um, you also have information there to help you in forecasting and demand planning. So replenishment method uh, right now is set to reorder points, uh, purchase lead time, safety stock levels, if this item has a seasonal demand or not, preferred stock levels. And then down here, I have quantity that's on hand. Now, this quantity you can see by location. So I can see I have 10 of these available in Arlington and I have 20 of these in Ashburn. There's more information here on the quantity itself. Uh, you have a, a available to promise lead time. You have also quantity breakdown on what items are you know coming in on PO on purchase orders, what items have been already committed, what's available, and what has been sitting on back order, right? So a lot of granularity and details for you to manage your inventory. Under sales and pricing, where I have my sales description, my uh, cost estimate types, and then down here my list price and different discount price levels that get assigned to the customer. So when customer logs in, whether they're coming in, uh, whether you, you're entering uh, order through NetSuite ERP and you're selecting a customer, it would see which discount level customer assigned to and based on that gives them the right pricing or the customer is coming in through Sweet Commerce, which is the e-commerce uh, add-on for NetSuite. And I'll show you that in a second as well. Uh, you know, based on the price level assigned to the customer, they will get their correct pricing. Okay. And this pricing, by the way, is also linked to the pricing we get from the uh, our buying group integration, in this case, our integration via retail deck. Under inventory details, since this is a serialized item, I can see what inventory numbers, uh, sorry, what serial numbers are available. And I can also run a trace on them, see uh, when they were received, if they have been transferred from different locations and if they have been fulfilled. So all that information is available to you uh, on that inventory item record. Okay. There are a few other things that you know I'll come back and touch base on. The, there's related records that are always available. You can see if, where this item has been referenced, sales orders, POs, item received, and cash sales. So um, all that information is very easily accessible right off of the item record. So let's quickly go into sales order and I'm gonna enter a sales order so you can see this how our, some of the settings we have made available come into play. Now for the sales order screen, and I'm gonna also mention this uh, for all the other screens within NetSuite, there are different views that you can use and based on the views, it can change what fields are available to you. So for example, if I, change my form to standard sales order form, you would see that it redraws itself. And some of the fields becomes available and other fields become hidden. That's all part of uh, the NetSuite built-in flexibility and it helps onboarding, it helps in training. So let me find Aaron Abbott. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add my washer to the sales order and let me actually uh, set the status depending fulfillment. So um, I don't have to go through approval. There is, by the way, built, built in workflows that are available within NetSuite. And you can also create custom workflows. We have a visual workflow designer at uh, our disposal. So on the item side, what I am going to do is pick our. Uh, LG washer. And this uh, information looks correct. I'm just gonna click add. Now, as I click add, what you, uh, what you might have noticed is that 
It pops up, first of all, my warranty selection. Since this item was uh, uh, set up with warranty, I can now pick whether I want a two-year warranty or five-year warranty. And then the optional item, it also shows me my dryer, my companion dryer and the recycling washer fee. So I'm just gonna pick the dryer here and add that down. You might have also noticed that this building material stainless steel washer hose was already added. This was because it was a required item and it was automatically add, added to the sales order. So we tried to streamline the order entry as much as possible. So you don't have to go and look for, you know, what items are required, what's optional, what other options to provide to the end client. You know, all that is available to you at your fingertips. Now, as this information, as the items have been added to the order, I am just going to save this, make sure I don't need anything else. And once uh, this order has been saved, we can go and fulfill it. So you can also see what the fulfillment looks like. Um, Craig, are there any questions? I haven't, I haven't looked at the Q&A uh, yet. No, we're good right now. Thank you, Hussein. Okay, very good. So in regards to NetSuite, as I was mentioning, it's a very flexible system. So you can uh, change the layout of the form as you like, all the reports, uh, that you see are customizable. Um, and uh, you can add as many custom fields on the form as you like. You, you know, there is, and that's something you can do it as an end user. You don't need a consultant to come in and do it for you. So in the sales order, let me go to the fulfillment. Yes, so um, there was a question about uh, the performance here. So I am running it on a sandbox or a demo instance here that tend to be a little slower than the production instance. So I have my items that are ready to be fulfilled and I can come in and see which location I'm fulfilling these from. And I can save this. Now, you would also notice that there is a link to the sales order that created this fulfillment. There's other ways to get to it as well. There is recent records, so I can, if I want to, I can go back to the sales order directly from here. On this, uh, there's a few things that, uh, before I come back to fulfillment, because it goes in the sequence, so I wanna make sure they are mentioned. On this, we also have an option to create a spec package. This is done through our integration with what we call SteelCod. SteelCod provides the bundling of all the specs and installation and, and other details, and it helps you create a one single package that, that can be shared with the end user. Okay, so just, uh, SteelCard allows us to create these uh, spec sheets along with you know, any installation details that are available. And you, know, you can create that PDF and make it available to the end user. Or uh, if you have contracted out to installation third party, you, know, you, can, you can share these with them. We also have scheduling service for delivery. This is done through our integration with package AI. So uh, you can pick and choose which items are available for delivery or delivery plus installation. And uh, once, you, once you click on book, it goes and communicates with the package AI interface. And then it takes over and allows you to select the different time slots where you can set which time slot be is best suited for the client. And, and go and do 
and schedule that visit for them, okay? Now, all this information, by the way, is then also available down here on the, on the sales order under package AI tab and also the steel card tabs. So you can always come back here and reschedule. Or if you want to look at that uh, steel card package that was generated, you can come in and click on the spec package URL and that, then it becomes available to you. The fulfillment uh, record that was uh, generated, I can come in and I can set, I can save this and that'll mark this as ship. In NetSuite, you do have an option to go through a full pick, pack and ship process or just pack and ship or just marking it as shipped, which I'm doing it right now. And that will complete it. Okay. Actually, I, uh, I need to change the date here. But that, that pretty much sums up your order entry to item fulfillment uh, and getting the items out of the door. Now, in closing, what I would also like to mention is that we have sweet commerce capability right out of the you know, box, meaning it's a unified system. It runs off the same database. You don't have to do any syncing between e-commerce database and the ERP system. So it's all part of the same platform. And you know, if I come down to the products themselves, it's a full-fledged e-commerce solution. You have your pricing. You can see how many are available to ship. You could do pickup in store. You can have the other models and, you know, options that are available on this refrigerator, for example, uh, available for selection, wish list, quotes, that functionality is here, details and ratings and reviews. So, you know, all the important aspects of e-commerce are supported on the platform. So I think that's all I wanted to sh share with you guys today. Uh, let me know if there are any questions um, otherwise, I am going to uh, give it back to you, Craig. Oh, I was muted there for a second. All right, thank you, Hussein, so much uh, for that behind the scenes look. Um, we've got more uh, functionality. You know, we were only able to really scratch the surface with that, um, but we did want to leave time uh, for our next session uh, with Mark Howard. So it is now my pleasure to introduce you our guest speaker, Mark Howard. Uh, just over five years ago, Mark and his team uh, at Plessers started their journey with NetSuite. He understood at the time that the legacy business systems that they were using were not helping to run the business. They were really a hindrance to growth. And Mark and his team purchased the ERP directly from NetSuite, implemented the solution in-house, and, and then spent many years struggling to make NetSuite actually work for their needs. And that's not an uncommon story. Increasingly frustrated, Mark decided that he needed help. So he turned to business solution partners with serious questions about whether NetSuite was indeed right for Plessers. Th through thoughtful engagement and a consultative approach, BSP worked with Mark and the Plessers team to overcome their challenges and customize the NetSuite platform for their unique business needs. And the timing was actually perfect. We had recently started working with a few of his peers in the appliance vertical, and we're already in the process of identifying and solving for strategic gaps between NetSuite's core functionality and the complex needs of the industry. So Mark worked with BSP on several initiatives that ultimately helped us identify and solve for his needs and the overall needs of the appliance industry. The journey that we started about three years ago has now culminated in our appliance retail bundle powered by Oracle NetSuite. In short, everyone on this call today is the beneficiary of Mark's early adoption of the system and his willingness to work alongside business solution partners to ensure that not only was NetSuite the right solution for his needs, but that business solution partners could go to market with our package of customized solutions to extend NetSuite's core capabilities and address the needs of appliance retailers everywhere. Mark, thank you so much for being a part of that journey with us and for joining us on the call today. Let's start the conversation with some background. Uh, and uh, first, I'm going to stop my screen share here, and we're going to turn on our cameras, and we're going to have a face-to-face -face conversation. All right. Mark, are you there? 
I'm here. Hey, let's see if we can get your camera working here, Mark. Oh, wow. Let me see. All right, we got you. Mark, you're in your office. I'm in my office. Um, thank you for being here with us today. And why don't we start by just you know telling us a little bit about yourself and the Plessers business. So Plessers was founded in 1919 by uh, members of the Plessers family here on Long Island. Uh, I took over the business in 1990 as a pretty much small mom and pop operation here on Main Street in Babylon Village uh, on the South Shore of Long Island. Uh, a few years later, my brother joined the company. And a few years after that, one of my good friends joined the company and took up some different roles in sales and operations and pretty much have had a steady growth since that day until now. We've taken the business from really Main Street mom and pop to a very nice mid-sized hybrid business. We sell online, we sell on the Builder Channel, we sell retail, uh, we sell some third party, pretty much a whole host of uh, different pieces of the business. Been fairly early adopters in most cases. We went with Storis early on because as an intercounty member, the thought was that the group was going to be moving in the direction of Storis. Uh, so we went before anybody maybe 20 some odd years ago with Storis, tortured ourselves for 19 and a half years with Storis. Uh, legacy closed systems have uh, always been, you know, pain points for this industry where you're not able to really change anything or do anything on your own. Uh, maybe I think the time frame is about right. Five, six years ago, uh, Rich Cabot, who's the third person I mentioned, who runs our operations here, was tasked with, you know, spending a year or so researching a system that might supplant Storis and really take over the company fully from an ERP standpoint. He looked at the old systems like Tyler, you know, the smaller homegrown systems like Reliant. Uh, which some dealers may use or know of. Uh, he pretty much went through them all, Salesforce, I mean, you name it. He, it was probably a, a, a solid year uh, of investigating and researching. Again, before we knew BSP, uh, Rich at that point brought NetSuite to me. We then had some follow-up conversations and we decided to you know, take the plunge and, and move forward with them. Awesome. So you gave us some really great background around kind of like what life was like before NetSuite with Storis, your your decision to pursue a better solution. Um, landing on NetSuite, what were some of the differentiators that helped you come to the decision that NetSuite was right for, for Plessers at the time? Uh, I think we were looking something that would be an open source system that we would be able to, you know, at that point, we weren't engaging with a partner, which, you know, was touched upon and, and probably a great point, you know, in retrospect, if we knew differently, uh, we would have utilized the partner and some of the dealers that I've recommended NetSuite to county, for instance, a friend of mine in, uh, in Stanford, uh, who I gave BSP to really uh, help for an implementation. I mean, without having the individual that I had to really take the implementation on by himself and torture himself, you know, it turned six months, a year for a solid implementation, probably took us four. So, you know, the time frame was, you know, I threatened to kill him many times for how long it was taking. Uh, so that was uh, part of the problem. So we certainly tell people, if you're going to go with, you know, a, a complicated, and I don't want to say complicated to make it sound difficult, but, you know, an all encompassing ERP system that's going to touch all the facets of the business. We use it for accounting, we use it for lead management, we use it for our trade partner business, uh, which we do with our cabinet guys. We use it for, you know, warehousing, we have our own separate warehouse. Uh, the only piece of the platform that we don't use is the SEA website side of it, which we wish we did. Uh, you know, single source platform certainly is better. Uh, we do not use an RWS platform either. We have our own uh, built system, which is a little antiquated, but necessary for the way the back end is built. And we haven't been able to figure out how to get that into SCA at the moment. So we're running two databases on the website 
everything else is really run through NetSuite. Awesome. Yeah. So it looks like there's some roadmap items ahead, some challenges to still figure out and streamline in terms of operation on e-commerce and RWS fulfillment. Um, so let's talk a little bit about, you know, the difference between before NetSuite and after NetSuite. How, how has it changed the way you're running the business and kind of streamlined your operations and, and enabled you to grow better? I think from a functional standpoint, you know, having NetSuite, uh, and there's certainly been challenges and will always be challenges with any system, but, you know, given the choices that we found out there and what we've been able to do with it, I mean, from, you know, from a divisional standpoint, it certainly gives me what I need from, you know, an upper management and my views, the customization between the different departments. Uh, you touched on it briefly, who sees what, whether it's the director of finance who's running accounting, whether it's customer support, uh, you know, you could pretty much utilize it, you know, in any way, shape or form. We're heavily customized at this point, which, you know, anytime you customize a system, there, there are uh, there are challenges within it. Certainly, you know, the, the more native you can use in the system, the better off you are. Anytime you do customizations, it can cause, you know, it can cause speed issues. It can cause, you know, a host of different things. Uh, if you don't have the same personnel in the same places. Uh, but I think that overall, you know, what it's offered us across the board has been able to grow uh, substantially while adding, you know, just a normal new subset of people not having, you know, in the past, we would have had to really put X amount more people everywhere to do the additional business that we were doing, even through the pandemic where the, you know, the business grew like it did for most retailers. Uh, we're pretty, we're pretty much, I, I looked at, I don't know all the dealers that are on the call. I know the names of most of them. Uh, I mean, I looked at, at most of the websites and some do cabinets and some do service, uh, things that we don't do. We do use the system for customer service and that we have customer service people, you know, in house to aid the customer in getting service, fulfilling service, setting up service, but it all, is all done within NetSuite. We really wanted a single platform. Uh, our sales team is a little fixated still on RWS. I'm sure most of the dealers are using that platform or website. Uh, so they are still utilizing that, even though a lot of the information is pulled from RWS and put into NetSuite. You showed some of those things on the, that Hussein showed on the demonstration, but uh, we still find that they use RWS. Steel Cod is a, you know, we, we haven't made, my sales team hasn't made a spec package in, you know, three years. Uh, the system just auto generates it. If for some reason you don't want to send it, uh, you just click do not send specs. If you want to send it to a secondary source, you add an email, but it's completely automated. They get a full package with a cover sheet from us. Uh, and then it's listed in the, and again, I'm a little bad with some of the spots. It's in either the communication tab or, you know, one of the tabs for reference if the salesman wanted to go back to it. But uh, it, it's certainly uh, it's certainly much more automated than most of the systems. The Tylers of the world, you know, all, all those legacy antiquated systems are, are, are pretty much a thing of the past today. Awesome. So, you know, I, it, it kind of stinks that your initial journey with NetSuite was a rough road, but I'm so glad that we were able to find each other and uh, the work that we've done with you to help you solve for your needs is, is uh, going to pay dividends for uh, for the others, uh, your peers in the industry. So thank you for doing the hard work for them. Uh, I think they're going to have an easier road and I don't know how that makes you feel uh, necessarily, but... <laughs> You know what it's you know it's just been something that we've done since the beginning we we like to jump into things as early as possible and like on the store side it was a it maybe was a mistake trying to be an early adopter i i don't think it was on the net suite side i certainly think you know with us coming together you guys have recognized you know good potential uh, in the appliance uh vertical a lot of appliance dealers around the country a lot of good size solid dealers you know, who need more robust platforms than they're currently operating. Certainly anyone can reach out to me directly. I'm, uh, I'm available at any time. You have any specific questions, anyone can always, uh, any, anybody on the call can reach out to me and ask away. I'm pretty much an open book uh, and I will give them, you know, whatever information they're looking for. 
Awesome. Well, Mark, you're an awesome customer. You're an awesome NetSuite user. Uh, we really appreciate the opportunity to work with you. Um, we are running a little bit over time here, so I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen one more time. Uh, just a couple of extra slides here to finish up. Um, all right, to, sum to summarize our experience today, appliance retailers need better systems and processes to address the modern economy and streamline operations and uh, increase margin. Now, NetSuite is a fantastic out-of-the-box solution for general retail operations, but it does lack the specific functionality that your organization needs to thrive. So BSP jumped in and created the Appliance Retail Bundle. It's solving for the specific needs of appliance retailers with awesome functionality, like warranty and rebate management, logistics and delivery features, integrations to those co-ops and buying groups, streamlined inventory and order management, e-commerce connected to everything else, and so much more. And BSP is the right implementation partner for your adoption of NetSuite because we have the vertical expertise and we develop the appliance retail bundle. Before we go, I would be remiss if I did not mention that we are really excited to get back to those in-person events in 2021 with our appearance at the upcoming AVB convention, August 21st through 24th in Nashville, Tennessee. We really hope to see you all there and we'll provide any updates uh, on how you can speak with us on site once we've confirmed all the details. All right, this is now your chance to get involved. We're gonna open up the Q&A. Um, if you've got a question, please feel free to raise your hand or use the Q&A panel to ask your question. Uh, we've got a panel of experts here. Um, if it was something that you saw today that you have additional questions on, maybe something you didn't see today that you'd like to question us about, uh, please locate that raise your hand button on the Zoom webinar portal and um, we'll turn on your microphone, turn on your camera, and you can personally address our panel of experts. Uh, I'm also gonna take this time to launch our final poll and thank all of our participants for your polling today. Um, all right, the floor is open to you. Let's see if we have any questions from the audience. Looking for those raised hands. Hussein, um, Bob, Mark, why don't we all turn our cameras on. I'm going to stop screen sharing. We're going to let everybody see who we are. Brian, you can hop on here too. Brian is our SDR and support for the vertical. Uh, many of you have may have heard from him. Hi, Brian. Um, I am not seeing any questions come through the Q&A. Does anybody have their hands raised? No, Beth, David, Jason, Rick, Robert, Shimon, Steve, any questions from the peanut gallery today? We are here to help. Um, and if everybody remains quiet, I will go on to our last slide of the day. After I say a huge thank you to the team at BSP um, for all your efforts in creating this webinar today, uh, promoting it, getting it out there to our audience. Uh, Brian, thank you for all your assistance. Bob, as always. Um, and uh, Mark, Mark, thanks so much. Really, really appreciate your time today and for coming on board and helping us out. All right, uh, I think we've given everybody a good amount of time to make their questions known. If you have any questions after the event, please feel free to get in touch with us. Uh, I provided the contact information on that last slide. I'm gonna share my screen one more time. Bob is here to help you, Hussein is here to help you, I'm here to help you. And I think that's gonna wrap it up for us today. On behalf of the team here at Business Solution Partners, I wanna thank you for your attendance. Stay tuned to our LinkedIn page for upcoming events and announcements, and be sure to subscribe to our blog and our YouTube channel for a ton of value-added educational content uh, that your team can take advantage of. Remember, if you like what you saw today, we're here to help. Uh, you make the leap. Uh, Bob and his team are waiting for your call and the chance to help your business rise to the challenge of the modern economy. That's going to do it for us today. Until next time, thank you so much from all of us here at Business Solution Partners. Mm -hmm.